Hi there, and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I'm Byron, and we are in Kaldahar. But we need to talk to Arundel again. All right, please. You must make haste. Time works against us. We must discover the source of this evil before the balance is altered irrevocably. I thought you should know I came across an ogre in the pass outside of town. This ogre who calls himself Garrick complained to me about a sharp pain in his head. Is there something you can do to help him? Interesting. It is impossible to determine exactly what ails him without examining him myself. But I do know of an herbal remedy that may ease his suffering. If you like, I could tell you the recipe so that you may help him help himself. Very well. What is this recipe? Tell him to gather a handful of frost berries that grow throughout these mountains. He must squeeze the juices from the berries into a pot of boiling tundra grass. Once mixed, the entire brew must be consumed in order for the pain to subside. <clears throat> I shall tell him. I'm sure he'll be grateful. Farewell. Okay, that was a useful piece of information. So now we save because I, I suppose think I'm free to we can steal from him I too. Guess. Yes, it worked. Can we do it again? Nothing to steal. What did we get? Another ring. Okay. You have my attention. Done. Done. So, I guess now would be the right time to return to that ogre. To the Kaldahar Pass. And the ogre was Done. living here. Hi. He will smash your face! Oh, you here again? Head still hurt! Garrick, gather the red and purple frost berries that grow near hot springs. Mash them into a paste and eat them with boiled tundra grass. That will make your head stop hurting. The remedy actually only works for ogres. That fix head? I give thanks. I go make head better now. Good luck, Garrick. And we get 1200 XP and storm leveled. Very nice, so we level him. 28 goes up to 42. And another weapon proficiency point, but sadly the paladin can only have two uh, points in a weapon proficiency. Okay, then I guess we're going to learn hammers now. If I had a hammer, I would hammer in the morning. Uh, did you? Yes. Uh, detect evil and divine courage. Another special ability. Uh, so I guess we can. Lay on hands now and rest. I'm on it. So, because now you should actually be able to identify that stuff. That's a ring of reaction. This ring was given to the reef scavenger and hunter known only as Adventor by a group of aquatic elves, long his friends. His help in rooting the pirate crane of Dembras was instrumental in their survival. Though Yandra continues to be feared anywhere the water meets land. Yep, and we get a free, of, uh, free action effect. The wearer is immune to everything, magical or otherwise, that affects mobility in any way, although uh, he still can be hasted. Be aware, however, this will also protect the wearer from beneficial effects such as those received from boots of speed. And there's another one. A vendor's, a vendor's gift. Okay, that's actually both items have the same description. Okay, so I'm going to give that to my melee fighters. Probably going to need it. Uh, but sadly, even if you have that, you can still be stunned. Hm. Rest again. Rest. Because yes. I think we still need to identify that. It's the amulet of meta spell influence. Oh yeah. Uh, it gives us an ad extra second level spell. Uh, once we actually able to cast second level spells, we are not right now. But then again, we will Work. be soon. I'll handle it. Time to return to Kaldahar. Agreed. No 
okay. Oh yeah, the oh, boy hello. again. I don't want to talk to you. Thank you. Go away. Don't bother me. What do we have? Oh, those are those three rocks, probably. That we heard about. Where does that take us to? Oh, nowhere actually. This is going nowhere fast. What do we have here? The portal. And that here is an uh, inscription upon this stone statue reads in memory of the Archduke Tolbin, founder of Kaldahar. Who are you? Town's Understood. Who, who are you? What do you want with me? Easy, friend. We're not going to hurt you. We just have some questions. What questions? What kind of questions? Who are you? I'm Ernst the P P Potter. At least I used to be. Now I just want to get out of this place alive. But with all the t t terrible things happening in town, I'm too scared to step outside my shop. Your shop? What do you sell? This shop is my home. I used to make pottery, p but there doesn't seem to be much point anymore. I've closed the shop and packed up my things. As soon as the p p pass is clear, I'm heading south to Baldur's Gate. I hear it's nice there. What can you tell us about the disturbances in the pass? Dis disturbances? Yes, people disappearing, m m monsters everywhere. Even the weather has t turned against us. Nobody knows why. Not even Arundel. Well, best of luck to you. Farewell. And there's nothing here, right? Right. So we leave again. Done. So, what might we find up here? <coughs> the evening shade in. I'm on it. There's the innkeeper. But before we talk to him, I am your man. Easily done. We loot his. His inn. Oh, that is actually locked. But that can be unlocked, and we get Aiden's legacy ring. Ready. Done. So, well, 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 we give this ring to you. And you say hi to All the innkeeper. Right. You looking for a room or do you just want to let it chill in? I got no rooms for stragglers. Show some coin or I'll show you the door. Who are you? I'm Aldwin and maybe having your head way up there don't make you here so good. Do you want a room or not? My inn is the only inn in town, so don't even be thinking you'll find a better deal anywhere else. So this is Yorin? Yeah, why? Somebody in town say different. Well, I found this ring upstairs. It seems to put the ownership of the evening shade in question. Eh, hey, what? Ah, this ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you've stooped to forcing your way into locked containers in people's houses, have you? Before you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look to, your s look to yourself. You're a paladin, right? What's a holier than thou soldier doing forcing locks, eh? I can't condone the action, but there may be a larger crime that must be investigated. The fact you knew about this ring makes me even more certain that you're guilty of something. You knew this ring was upstairs all along? Uh, no, no, I didn't know it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to really ex explain anything. You're right. I'll take Aiden's ring to the elders of the town and let them decide how to deal with this. Perhaps they could call on Eden's shade with the ring and speak to him about this. Justice must be served. Look, hold on, hold on. Here's what's happened. First off, I never laid a hand on Aiden. So Aiden is dead? Yeah, well, yeah. But it's not my fault. I came... Uh, I come into the ring one night after barely making my way through Kaldahar Passy, and there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as a stone. Now, I'd been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I knew he didn't have any family. What did you do with the body? 
There had been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then, well, I took up some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I shouldn't have, th and I should have thrown away the damn ring. But look, I'm not doing any, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. So why did you do it? You probably won't be able to sell this place, you know. The storm season closes off the caravan routes too often to turn any profit. I know, it's just that, I don't know, I'm sick of traveling, and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the halfling on me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified Moleborough and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Well, it's good you didn't hurt Aiden, but you shouldn't have hit the body and falsified the claim. There were people here that probably knew him and cared for him, and they would have to would have liked to have paid their respects. Besides, as Iron Ring states, the inn belongs to Calderhan, not you. What you did was wrong. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief. Well, he actually did the stealing. And by my reckoning, that puts us at about the same level. Fair enough. Nonetheless, I want you to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it will be worse for you in the long run. Mmm, look, maybe we... I mean, what's to keep me from getting out of town? Well, you won't get far. An avalanche has sealed off the pass, and plus, there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. Alright, alright, damn it. I go talk to them. Now stop bothering me. Well, well, I'll be back to check on you, Alduin. Farewell. And we get 3,225 XP out of that, and Zeldana and Tolpan leveled. And yeah, the ring, it says, um... It's Aiden's legacy ring. The simple ring bears an inscription on its interior. It looks like the inscription was carved there by an expert silversmith. To the people of Kaldar, I should evening fall upon me and my life be no more. I leave the evening shade to you. Please care for her as I did. Aiden's uh, Aiden last of the line of Caven. Okay, so we level. Okay, 32 hit points and 10 more... Thief skill points. Wait a second, what's wrong? Oh, a weapon proficiency. Too bad we can't raise, you know, we can't get more than one point. Uh, so I guess we take missile weapons too. Can't hurt. And the mage levels too. Now she has an awesome amount of 18 hit points. Wow. And she can probably learn level 2 spells. Uh, yeah, take 2 blurs. Okay, and uh, sadly we can't sell the ring, Understood. so I'm going to put it back where I found it. I don't know whether we need it. Done. We're probably not going to need it again, but yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Doink. And back. Okay. Orders. And I'll handle it. <coughs> Got it. Um, anybody there? Yes. Everybody made it down again. So Three more buildings. What's in here? Nothing really, but there's a town person. Say hi to her. Well, by the hells, I wasn't expecting any new faces in Kaldahar with the passes being what they are. You from East Haven? How did you get through? We were part of an expedition from East Haven, but not all of us, not all of us made it. My sympathies for your fallen comrades. What happened? The pass is snowed in, and to make things worse, there's a horde of creatures in the pass, mostly goblins and orcs. I doubt any caravans will be through for quite some time. That is grim news indeed. I fear things here in Kaldahar are not much better. You may wish you'd stayed in East Haven. Tell me about Kaldahar. What did you want to know about Kaldahar, or did you want to know what's been going on around Kaldahar? Well, do you know anything about the Vale of Shadows? Uh, the Vale of Shadows might want to ask Mirak. He and his brother Silas make a pilgrimage every year to pay their respects to their ancestors. I think they left on their trip a day or two ago though, so they won't be back for a while. I'll see if I can find them in the Vale then. 
Friend, don't go stepping foot into the Vale of Shadows. It's not a place for the living, and as long as the dead mind their own affairs, we mind ours. I have to go there. The Vale may be the source of the troubles in Kaldahar. Never been to the Vale of Shadows myself, but I've heard it's covered in shadows. Yeah, it's the Vale of Shadow. It's probably covered in shadows. It's like twilight there all the time. No good will come from the living setting foot in the Vale. Let evil feed on evil, that's what I say. Well, there's not much choice. Any advice or information you could offer would be welcome. Well, I don't know too much about the Vale or even like talking about it. For the matter, you may have better luck with some of the other townsfolk. They may know more than I do, and there's no telling what random tidbit information might... Uh, what, what random tidbit someone might cough up when you're talking with them. Okay, I've had some more questions about Kaldohar in general. I've heard that some people make pilgrimages to the crypts of Vale of Shadows. Do you know anything about that? You know, just last month, girls was going on about one of the tombs said to be in the Vale of Shadows. Says one of them is the tomb of Kresselak, the Black Wolf. Kresselak? I don't think I've ever heard of him. Terrorized this region years ago, he did, with a whole legion of soldiers, shamans, and priests under his banner. That's a good sized force for this region. It would take a man of some strength to lead such a band, especially if it had spellcasters in it. Rumor has it he had a sword as large as a man, able to cleave enemies in half. Not only that, but I, had, uh, but it had some enchantment that helped crest like ward of the cold, but not the chill of death, I'll wager. While a good blade can uh, be the best right hand a leader can have, it can turn a capable leader into a champion of the people. Look, if you're making your way to the Vale to try and help us here in Kalnahar, there's no reason you should have steel that's any less than Kresselex. Here's a small token you can use at Cole and Smithy if you need to purchase a better plate. Take it with my good graces. Your token is appreciated, thank you. So, I had some questions about town. Well, Kalnahar is not a big place, but I can tell you a bit about it if you want. How long has that tree been here? It's huge! I've been here as long as I can remember, a blessing as near as I can tell. The chilly weather doesn't even touch the town with the tree growing here. It radiates enough heat to keep things green, which is a sight for tired eyes here in the north. But hells, if you came through the pass, you know that already. Um, any place I could tip back a tankard? I've got quite a thirst. Ah, oh, you'd be looking for Whitcomb's place, the root cellar. You'll find that just a little southeast of the base of the great tree in the middle of a cluster of three buildings. Keep an eye out. With the roots being as huge as they are, you can walk right over the tavern and not know it's there. I'm looking for a place to rest, actually. Well, there's the evening shade, but well, I don't mean to tell tales, but from what I've heard, the current owner actually found the old owner dead in the inn, and he buried the body in secret and tried to force a forge a claim to the inn. Very shady stuff, but he did come clean to the elders, a guilty conscience, I suppose. In any event, the evening shade uh, shades all there is for travelers. You don't want to be sleeping outside uh, without a disappearance. I don't know if a guilty uh, conscience had anything to do with it. What's this about disappearances? Ah, a lot of people have gone missing recently. One of them was Colin's boy, Shemish. The next morning the whole town searched for the boy, but turned up nothing. He was just gone, vanished without a trace. Then Mother Eugenia from the church, Ida the innkeeper and Megan Potts and others. Not a trace of them, any of them. Nothing. Okay, any supply shops or weapon shops? There's two. If weapons uh, are what you're wanting, go see Cole and the Smith. In the northern center part of town, his forge is burning day and night, so it's hard to miss. If you're looking for general supplies, go see Gurth. His shops near Kaldar run north of the bridge. It's got a tall railing that runs around the edge and juts o out over the water. Um, there any churches or temple nearby? Uh, there's a temple for Imaja here in the northeast canyon, just beneath the wrecked airship. I don't know if that's your faith or not, but the brother and the re rever reverend mother are good people. Ilmata, the broken god, correct? Ah, he's the god of suffering, the crying god. His priests seek to help alleviate the sufferings of others by taking on their pain. Don't know all the teachings, but that's pretty much how I understand it. <coughs> so you don't worship him. Well, I'll tell you, friend, um, one look at the great tree of Kaldahar, and it seems to me that nature is the only thing really deserving of worship around here. I mean, the branches nearly scrape the clouds, it seems. Beautiful sight, it is. And that option you only get if you talk to him with a cleric or a paladin. 
Have you ever heard of the have I heard the teachings of your martyr? I think they might make you see the church differently. Well, maybe so. What are his teachings? Il Martin is the Il Martyr is the willing sufferer. He takes on the burdens and pains of others, so and so do his priests. I'm sure you've noticed the priests put others ahead of themselves, and they are always there when one needs healing or comfort. Hmm. I suppose I'd always assumed the priests had been helping the town in hopes of gaining converts. Maybe I'll attend uh, one of their worship days and see a little more of what the church is like. Thanks for opening my eyes. My pleasure. Uh, we have more questions. Yeah, we got 1200 uh, XP out of that. If we had a druid in our party, we could also have, you know, persuaded her to worship nature. Or both, if we had a druid and a paladin. Or a cleric. I thought I saw a ship lying by uh, the great tree when I came in. Oh, you mean the airship Fiddlebanders hold up in? Yeah, well, for the whole story, you'll have to speak to him about it. This Fiddlebander, he lives in the airship then? I, Fiddlebanders, our local alchemist, I guess you Southerners might say, makes potions and concoctions, and the occasional <laughs> explosion. <laughs> He'll need to start adding chimneys to pump out the smoke at the rate he's going. Um, I saw a tower by the tree from the road. Is that your local watchtower? No, that's the tower of Auric the Grey, we've already been there. Fortunate we are to have a wizard this far north, friendlier than most spellcasters I've known. He values his privacy, but I still see him tip back a tank or two with the best of them at the root cellar. He's got some goblin that does chores for him. Okay, that's pretty much all the information we can get out of her. And we got a nice little garnet gem that we can probably sell. So get out of here. Done. What do you have here? A Understood. Bookcase. Get a potion. Mummy's tea, okay. Yeah, that uh, priests of Horus Ray in far of Mulhorrent were the first to create this life saving potion. A foul smelling brew it is, made by boiling used mummy wrappings, Wah! along with naturally dissect animal remains. The resulting tea can be consumed to neutralize the effects of disease. That's useful. So, all the bows to the pelly. One more, please. Thanks. I'm listening. I'll handle it. So, and here are several townsperson and a few barmaids, and of course the bar keeps. So, we start with the barmaid I'll here. It. Keep your damn horses stabled, I'll get to you in a moment. Hey, what's this? Some sort of majory? Uh, excuse me? Ha! Huh, I'm just surprised to see a new face in Calda as all. Thought I'd never see another customer to pass buried in snow as it is. You must be looking for something fierce to brave the winter's chill like that. I'm looking for a meal if the kitchen's still open. If it's a meal you're after, tell that filthy goateed wine spider squatting behind the bar to stop drinking and stock and fire up a uh, drop to stop drinking the stock and fire up the oven. You but you best shout, he's too deep in his cups to hear you if you talk civilized like. I may do that, say. I'm part of an expedition from East Haven looking for troubles in Calder. I was wondering if you could help me. Oh, that's so. Well, we should all be blessed then. Our bone carving neighbors trudging through the drifts to make sure we're all right. What's East Haven worried about us for? We heard strange events in the regions. Goblins, orc, and other humanoids seem to be gathering in East Haven and Caldeha. Do you have any idea why? No, no, I don't. I mean, we've had our share of raiders before, but this year has been worse than any other I can recall. How so? Well, I've heard tales of, have heard tell of raiders, goblins, and the like never seen in the past before. Folks, travelers have gone missing, and no one knows where. Lots of strange goings on. Got a lot of folk worried. You might want to speak to Arundel. If his bird's any sign, he's got a lot of knowing to his ears. You can find him at the base of the great tree. Uh, his is the two-storied house to the south and west. Uh, do you know where I can find a room for the night? Well, you're in and out of luck. We don't have any rooms, but that pug knows knee-high at the evening shade Eldwin has some rooms for that. If you're interested, better hope you have enough coin, though. A little pile of gold would be enough for that copper-cleansing mole. I had a talk with Alden, and I expect he'll be a little more fair to his customers, and this town from now on. Hmm, well I'll see. I don't trust him, I don't. He could have killed Aiden himself, he could have. That little runt better watch himself around here, or I'll use him as a welcome mat. 
Very well then, farewell. And there's another barkeep here, a uh, barmaid here. Welcome traveller, may I be of service to you? I would like to ask you some questions. Well, I will help if you can, if I can. What would you like to know? Who are you? Well, I'm Luzen, the barmaid. If I may be of service to you, you need but ask. What do you do here, Luzen? Uh, as I said, I'm a barmaid. I'll help take care of the customers. I serve food and drinks, chat with folks and listen to what they have to say. You learn a lot if you take the time to listen. Uh, have you heard any rumors you can share with me? Well, I hear tales. Folks have been talking about the recent avalanche, the haunted veil, missing folks, monsters and Arundel. What are they say saying about the avalanche? I hear it was a bad one. The path out of the valley has been blocked and won't be open again until who knows when. Some folks are trapped here and none too happy about it. Not much that can be done though. Just wait for spring and see if it clears enough to travel. You mentioned the haunted veil. Can you tell me about it? Most folks call it the veil of shadows. It's always dark there. Like twilight or moonlit night. Anyway, there are those who say spirits of the dead wander the veil. Folks don't go there anymore. They're afraid to. Maybe someone should do something about that. Who is this Arundel you mentioned? Arundel, he's the local sage or hermit. I don't know rightly what to call him. Folks have a lot of respect for him though. Anyway, I guess he's taken an interest in a lot of goings on around here of late. You see, he's been seen out and about more than is usual for him. That's all I know. Did you say something about missing people earlier? Aye, folks have been vanishing without a trace. I recall something about a man's wife gone missing. He packed up and left his home and all to go to find her. Another is the smith's young son. You might want to talk to him if you have an interest. I believe you said monsters were of concern. Are there a problem here? A sore subject that one is. It seems they are on the rise lately. More monsters are spotted in the surrounding countryside every day. Orcs, goblins, you know the like. It has people worried. Okay, let me ask you something else. What can you tell me about this tavern? Why? This is the best tavern in all of Calderha. Well, it's the only one. The food is good, the ale isn't watered down, and the surface is friendly. Okay. I would like to know more about Calderha. I don't rightly know what to say about Calderha. It's a bit of a wonder. I give it that. The only thing that allows the town to survive is the great tree and the warmth it provides. It doesn't seem right somehow. Not right? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing really. I just... I'm just awed by the tree and all. Did you have any more questions? No, I think not. Farewell. Okay, do you have anything to add, my friend? Mr. Barkeep. Oh, she leaves now. Well, now, it seems the pass coughed up one more straggler. Welcome to the root cellar, stranger. My name is Bitcomb. What's your pleasure? A drink? Something from the kitchen? Ah, uh, your boy made Lucian is quite pleasant and talkative. Oh, do you fancy her? She's easier on the eyes, she is, but a little too much of Winter's chill and her for my liking, friend. Can't say I haven't tried to thaw her out a little, but she could keep an ogre at bay with those eyes of her. She came here a few months ago and she works hard, so I'm not complaining. Uh, Amelia, one of your barmaids, said I should ask you for a meal. Ha! I strongly doubt she said it as politely as that. A brassy one she is. Her tongue could cut firewood, and it will if she keeps up her chatter. But never you mind, I can set you up with a meal that's to your liking. Just name your pleasure. Okay, that would be welcome. And you could buy something here, but that's pretty much all. No, here it doesn't have an inventory. So, okay. well, well, well. So I guess we're going to... What? Run! The veil! Filled with yetis! Tried to outrun them, but two of them still chasing me! Run! Get help! What the fuck? Oh, there are yetis. Is everyone using ranged yeah, weapons attention. right now? So I'm many here. jobs. So yes. Fire away. Time. What the fuck? The mage in front? You want me? Your wish it easily Not done. likely. What? Give the word. Ready. Murder most foul, crass victory most fair. Oh, sucker. And now you. Time to trim this one. Oh, look, Godmund a leveled. Now oh, she's a level 2 cleric. She didn't get any hit points. 
she will uh, only get hit points uh, when she reaches the fourth cleric level. Then, from that point on, she will gain hit points again. But now she gets spells, and that is important too. Let's spell Here some I blood. come, and the hells come with me. Ooh. Ready? Okay. What do you so want? I'm off. The yeti pals. And Here. say hi to you. Got it. Thanks. I thought the time to join my ancestors had finally come. Last time I ever stepped foot anywhere near the Vale, that's for certain. There's all sorts of strange creatures roaming around there now. The Vale? The Vale of Shadows. My brother Silas and I made a pilgrimage there to pay our respects to our family crypt like we do every year. But this time, I don't know. The Vale seems different. Cursed somehow. The shadows have come alive and there's Yeti roaming uh, the path attracting travelers. Your brother, where is he? Silas didn't make it. The largest city I've ever seen tore out of the snow and took a piece out of him with its claws. He fell, dead as a stone, blood everywhere. everywhere. There, there was nothing I could do. He was carrying our family heirloom, but it's lost to us now. Hmm, I can try and recover the heirloom for you. Can you tell me how to get to the Vale? We were taking the main path, but considering how many beasts were on the Vale, Arundel may know a safer path you can take. He wanders the mountains quite a bit and knows of more hidden trails then there are branches on the Great Oak. His home is southwest of the Great Tree. It's the two-story house made out of stone. I already spoke to Arundel. I'll be on my way to the Vale soon. Thank you. Now that Silas is gone, the heirloom is all that I've left to remember my family by. I would appreciate its safe return. Also, if you come across any more yetis, you might want to collect their pelts once you've done away with the beasts. Conan, the blacksmith here in town, buys the pelts for a fair price. Farewell. Okay. So what's in here? Nothing. I'll handle it. Got it. Okay. Ah, oh, they hurt me. Ah. Oh. Thirty-seven out of forty-two. Yeah, it's not too bad. And thirty-six out of forty-two. Ah, they can still take it. So, but it's time to take a break here and continue on the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!